Hey guys, welcome to your sixth iOS application development tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way to create a multiple view application. So we'll just choose single view application and I'll go sixth tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our main storyboard and let's just put a label that says main view because this is the first view we'll see when our application loads and all we're going to do is add a button underneath I like to put a background around the button just to make it easier to see and then what we should do next is click this object which is a view controller and we'll bring it into our storyboard Let's move it a little farther. There we go. Next, what we're going to do is just add a button to our second view, and this button will be gray too, and we'll make it say change view. Same with this one, change view. and what we can do is right click and drag to the opposite view and we'll say modal and then we'll click on the seg and transition flip horizontal and then we'll go to this change view modal and we'll click on it and we'll make this transition cross dissolve all right now let's run it all right, so we have our little application. We click change view and it flips to the other view. Change view and you saw the little fade in, fade out to the main view. So there's two other segs they have and there's partial curl and cover vertical. So let's just check those out too. Here's the cover vertical and now partial curl and you see the partial curl is like a page so it'll stay like that no matter what so that's kinda why I don't enjoy that one let's change that back in case I ever use this amazing application again right now we do have multiple views but this second view doesn't have any files so really all it can do is maybe have an image on it or buttons that go back to the original view which isn't much so what we could do is go to new file and then Coco touch objective C class next and we'll make it a class of UI view controller and we'll say the class is view controller 2 because we already have view controller so we can't do that and then we create it it'll add the files right here and what we do in our main storyboard is click on this view controller we go over to custom class and we'll say view controller 2 and now this is uh, connected to right here so it imports view controller and we have two view controllers with separate implementation and header files which could come in handy for basically any application hope you learned something thanks for watching